A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. Leicester City 00 Aston Villa live reaction. After a 0-0 draw against Aston Villa, we look at what went wrong and why the Foxes failed to take any points. Jamie Vardy struggled to find the net, while Lookman and Ollie Watkins had a quiet game. But we can't underestimate the importance of a clean sheet for City. We will also look at why Gerard is concerned and how the players can turn things around quickly. Leicester City drew 0-0 with Aston Villa. The first leg of this weekend's Premier League match saw both sides play with respectable energy, although both teams struggled to create quality moments in the final third. Either side managed to score, and neither were tested by the other's goalkeepers, despite enjoying 67 possession. Leicester's first big chance came when Ollie Watkins beat Wesley Fafana and curled a low shot over the bar. The game ended goalless, but it did not go the way either side wanted. Either side moved up the table despite registering only two shots on goal, with Leicester on 42 points and Aston Villa on 15 five points adrift. The visitors reintroduced Jamie Vardy in the second half, but he failed to register a touch in the Villa box. In addition to Vardy, James Justin, Kieran Dewsbury Hall, and Adamola Lookman were also included in Brendan Rodgers' starting 11. Jamie Vardy struggled to get into the game. Jamie Vardy's return from injury has ended in a goalless draw, as Leicester and Aston Villa both failed to produce a moment of quality. Leicester enjoyed 67 possession but rarely threatened to score. James Madison's header was just inches wide and Emiliano Bundia's angled drive was tipped over by Kasper Schmeichel. Steven Gerrard and Brendan Rodgers were left scratching their heads, as Jamie Vardy has not scored a goal in his last three appearances. Villa, meanwhile, have gone four games without a goal. Jamie Vardy returned to the side in the 70th minute, but was barely involved in the final exchanges. The absence of Jamie Vardy, a key player for the Foxes, is a major blow to the side's 11, especially as he was unable to get into the game. Lookman struggles to get into the game. Ademola Lookman reflects on his goal for Leicester City against Crystal Palace. Leicester City are in desperate need of a win after a dismal performance against Liverpool. The visitors dominated the first half but were unable to get the desired result. Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane both missed chances to score and were also exposed by the midfield diamond of Leicester City. Luke Thomas and Kiernan Dewsbury Hall thwarted the efforts of both Liverpool's star player surf press piled on the pressure on Amy Martinez. But Leicester's defense stood strong and looked threatening all the time. Lookman struggled to get into the area as the game wore on. However, he did come on for Jamie Vardy, who made his first appearance since January. The intensity of the game didn't change much until the referee started handing out yellow cards at a rapid rate. Lookman, Matters and KDH all went into the book. Ollie Watkins. Aston Villa and Leicester drew zeros row in the Premier League on Tuesday night. The game was a tight affair with both sides struggling for quality in front of goal. Aston Villa had the better chances to score during the first half, but failed to take them. The first goal came from a free kick by James Madison after the visitors had failed to clear their lines. Watkins was then introduced for Lister and made his debut after the break earth. Match had a host of attacking threats and Lister had to be on their guard against a team that had lost four of their last five league games but the Premier League's top scorers had different approaches. Ollie Watkins has scored five goals in as many games, while Jamie Vardy has two to his name. Leicester City have won this fixture 44 times, while Aston Villa have won it 24 times. Jamie Vardy Leicester City drew 0-0 with Aston Villa at the King Power Stadium. Jamie Vardy's second-half strike put the home side ahead, but the game was still 0-0 at the break. The Leicester press was relentless on the Villa defense, with Decca and Lookman providing strong cover. The Villa attack struggled to play out from the back and lacked any purpose. Leicester's pressure continued and Vardy came on for his first appearance since January. The goal, however, came too late as the teams went into halftime with a point and a goalless draw. Aston Villa ended a four-game run of defeats with this draw, 
but Stephen Gerrard will be happy with a point. Aston Villa last lost five games in a row in November 2008, and Stephen Gerrard was promoted to replace Dean Smith in that season. The return of Jamie Vardy to the starting lineup was a welcome one. The Leicester forward came on for Johnny Evans after six weeks out with an ankle injury, but had little impact. Stimmate. After beating Aston Villa Tozero last season, Leicester City were denied a win at the King Power Stadium on Saturday and could have ended the game with a victory. Instead, the sides drew 0-0 and Leicester took their first away point of the season. While both sides were unable to score, both teams were largely comfortable in possession and failed to create any clear-cut chances. The only goal of the game came from a teasing free kick from James Madison or a stand-make between Leicester City and Aston Villa was a good result for both sides and ended Aston Villa's four-game losing streak. Both sides struggled to produce quality moments, but the visitors had a better second-half performance. After conceding early, Steven Gerrard's side held their own against the stout Leicester side. Leicester had 67 of possession in the first half, but rarely looked dangerous. The home side had one chance to score when Ashley and cleared a James Justin free kick. Premier League match report. It was a disappointing 0-0 draw at the King Power Stadium as the two sides battled for top spot in the Premier League. Despite having a number of chances to score, the Foxes were unable to find a way past Kasper Schmeichel. The resulting goal is straw will leave both managers feeling disappointed, but it was also the perfect platform for both sides to assess their form for the remainder of the season. Despite a goalless draw at the break, the Foxes dominated this game for much of the first half. Despite being down to a man, they dominated the early stages of the match and looked comfortable in their attacking third. Despite having an advantage in position, they were less threatening in the final third and the talismanic Kierning Dewsbury Hall was unable to find an open goal. The home side made a late effort with a Cautenho Watkins combination. However, the Brazilian curled a header over Casper Schmickel but was unable to score the goal. Sofa score live score. Get instant updates on your favorite soccer matches with Sofa score. You can access over 500 soccer leagues, cups, and tournaments across the world. Not only does SofaScore provide live scores tables, you can also access video highlights, fixtures, and statistics. You can even watch the live stream of this match. You can follow the match from anywhere in the world by downloading the SofaScore mobile app. Match Preview Leicester City are in good form and are currently in ninth place in the Premier League. Aston Villa, meanwhile, have won just once in their last five games and are currently in 15th place with just 36 points. Both teams are also struggling defensively this season. However, it is the home form of Leicester that will determine how they will do in this game. Aston Villa have lost four out of their last five games and will be keen to get back to winning ways this weekend. Aston Villa are in bad form and have won just once since Christmas, but they could find it hard to get the results they need at the King Power Stadium. Similarly, Leicester have their eye on the Europa Conference League, where they can still get a top four finish. Thus, Brendan Rodgers will be expecting his side to continue their good form and clinch a place in the next round. Match Stats If you're looking for match stats for the Leicester City vs. Aston Villa game, you've come to the right place. This match took place on April 23, 2022, and has been scheduled for kickoff at 15-15. Two teams are ranked 9th and 10th respectively in the Premier League. As of this writing, both teams have collected seven points from five matches. As for the scores, Leicester has scored six times. While Leicester have won their last two Premier League games, Aston Villa's lack of success has been worrying. The Foxes are without a win since March 10. This is the first time in four games that the Villa have been held scoreless. The game was a draw in both teams' previous meetings.